This happened on September 4th. Yes, ma'am. And at some time, you came home, and there was an incident with your father. Yes. The reason I had to... I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you, because you look as if you're struggling. What property do you claim that your father has that belongs to you? The property that my father has that is in his possession is my TV. Just a second. What size TV? 50-inch TV. Was that television in the apartment, because you're no longer in the apartment. Did you leave that TV in the apartment? When I was escorted out, I wasn't able to grab my TV. Was this, just listen to my question, was this 50-inch TV in the apartment? Yes, ma'am. What happened to the TV? I don't have any of his possessions. Uh, that's not what I asked you. I'm not sure what happened to the TV. He has roommates to come, he has friends to come in and out of that apartment, so I have no just idea what happened to his TV. Just a second. Put your hand down. When you were escorted out of the apartment on September 4th by the police, was your roommate still in the apartment? He was not there that day, but he was living there. Did he continue to live there after you were escorted out? Yes, ma'am. And he's not here today, is that right? Yes, ma'am. What else do you claim that your father has that belongs to you? He took my phone, my iPhone, my speakers. Just a second. Was your iPhone in the apartment? Yes, ma'am. Your speakers, were they in the apartment? Yes, ma'am. What else? I had three controllers, black, gold, and silver. He took those as well. Were they in the apartment? Yes, ma'am. So was your roommate in the apartment? Yes, ma'am. And your roommate's not here today? Yes. So your father says he doesn't have any of your property? He says that he doesn't have it, but my auntie spoke with him after I had got out from jail yeah, and, confirmed, and confirmed with him he told my aunt that I don't Just need to... Just a second. I'm the aunt, yes. Stand up. Tell me your last name. Slayton. Miss Slayton, you had a conversation with Mr. Elston? Yes, I did. On what date? I had a conversation with Mr. Elston on September the 7th, about 7.30 p.m., in regards to the electronic items that Deontay owned and the direct answer that was given to me when I inquired about the items... You, from him? From Mr. Elston. On September 7th, he said, Deontay does not need to worry about those Wrong. items shh, shh. until he takes care of what is over there at the apartment. That's what he told me. So, he doesn't have to worry? <laughs> what he said to you was he, he does, he does have not need to worry, worry about those items until he discusses with me about what took place there at the apartment. Okay. So, you have no knowledge of where those things are now? No, I do not. Have a seat. Mr. Elston, the the person who was your son's roommate, is he still there? Yes, he is. How long had he been your roommate? Since October 1st. Of last year? Yes, ma'am, of last year. Why isn't he here? I'm not sure, ma'am. Did you ask him to come? No, ma'am. Well, he would be able to tell me whether or not the items that you're still referencing are in the apartment or not. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. Now, there was in some sort of a kerfuffle in the apartment on September 4th. Your father has a counterclaim.